potential threat and should be confronted rather than welcomed. See, they're talking about UFOs. Also a strong opposing view. Okay. And they're going to expose it and all this bullshit. And uh, they're talking about their technologies. They're going to be so advanced. We'll drop our religion. You know, if everyone knew they were aliens, it would drop the religions. But on the other hand, we'd have all these technologies to get rid of diseases. See, this is another diversion because of the primary the water cycle. It's it's all artists. That's all this is, is art. Raising our awareness to a point where we want to be a more peaceful, loving, caring. You'd be peaceful and loving and caring if there was plenty of water and food. See how they put the environmental cleanup people in? They're the ones hiding our natural resources of primary water. See, and they're bringing the alien thing in to make you think like technology is what we need. No. We've had enough technology since 1920. They knew about the primary water, it's just it wasn't so polluted. So they, they grabbed it all, knowing by now it would be polluted on the top. And we beat them to it, man. So we got the knowledge out. They're playing the alien game now and the war game and the spiritual Israel war game now. And it's all horse shit. It's a bunch of TV assholes with the Pentagon and all these clowns. And they're just routing the money. They're taking our tax base for their space program for their alien shit. Open the primary water and all of your diseases and crap stop. All the wars stop and peace begins. Not uh, alien technology. So I think if consciousness isn't bound by space time, there could be some this aspects guy, of that. He, he that don't even know where the water comes from. You're going to talk about outer space? I mean, this stuff's got to stop. 